Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marcy. Thank you for clicking on that thumbnail. Always showing up, showing y'all some love. We are going to get into some delicious apple juicy fragrances today that I've been meaning to talk about for a long time. Um, I love the note of apple, red apple, green apple, apple crisp, um, warm baked apple pie scent, all of that warm spiciness and fragrances. You know, it's slightly gourmand leaning, it's decadent, um, and I just absolutely Absolutely love them and I want to share them with you all well the ones that I do have in my collection I also want to talk about one fragrance house called Imperia fragrances um, they sent me over a fragrance that has a delicious delicious note of red apple inside they only have two fragrances in the fragrance house Oshun is one of them a beautiful mango coconutty milky um, exotic fruit fragrance that I absolutely love and one of my top 10 fragrances for the summer it's long lasting it's juicy it's vacation in a bottle and i absolutely love it it's actually here um the juice is pink if you like um dolce gabbana uh what is it the one that smells like watermelon then you're gonna absolutely fall head over heels for this fragrance it's most amazing for the summer so now they have a second fragrance out called um chango or chango chango is more masculine leaning. Um, it's still decadent with a beautiful note of red apple. This is what I want my man to smell like all summer long, or my boo, or my bae. This fragrance is so good. It's so silky smooth and absolutely amazing. So y'all, we gonna get into this fragrance and the notes. Uh, please continue to like, follow, subscribe, all that good stuff. The bottle's gorgeous, you guys. Turn on those notification bells. Follow me over on Instagram as well. I just did an apple reel over there. Just to you know give them a segue as to what will be going on over here within the next week you guys all right so this fragrance like i said like i said is by the house of imperia fragrance and the bottle's gorgeous it's heavy the top is gorgeous like all of it i love the quality of their fragrances um i know a couple of people were saying in the beginning that oshun wasn't long lasting but it is very long lasting you guys so um just like this one is amazing and long lasting masculine -like leaning do i t um dare i say but it's unisex masculine leaning but i would love smelling this on a man um i just walk by and i sniff it um so many recommendations i get i've given on this fragrance and i love it i love this more than a lot of masculine fragrance in my collection um i love this more than creed events for um not creed events for her i love this more than creed events y'all this is some amazing juice in this bottle. So in here, it's called Chango. You have your red apple as the top note. You have some really woody, earthy, fresh bamboo. Um, you have some clothes, leather, cloves, leather, and some African bird's eye red pepper. I don't know what that means, but apparently it's a little warm spicy. And the fragrance is a little, oh, this fragrance is so good, you guys. You guys, if you have a boo, man, bae, husband, you need to buy him this fragrance. You will not be disappointed. Um, if you are disappointed, I will buy it from you, okay? Um, but I seriously doubt if you are because it's absolutely amazing. Look at the Automizer. The Automizer is gorgeous, you know? But you get the silkiness, you get the woodiness from the bamboo. You know the bamboo like in Poets of Berlin by Wilhelm Perfumery? That is, that's the bamboo that I get in here. The fresh, earthy bamboo. You get that silky, it's like a silky satin, almost like the satin in Swa Malakis by Dries Van Noten. That is like a silky red apple that I'm getting in this fragrance. It's clean, it's fresh, it's juicy. Y'all, it's all of that. Slightly sweetened, you know? But like I said, woody, it's not a heavy leather in here. I really don't actually get a leather in here at all. And that's probably why I love it so much. But maybe you get a hint of suede. I don't really get, but suede is leather. So, you know, there you go. It's just process different. So yeah, it's almost like a red apple and a suede. No, it's not like Casablanca. This is a million times better than Casablanca. You know, because you got that bamboo in there and that, that juicy red apple, y'all. 
anyway, this is absolutely amazing. Get your nose on it. It's called Chango. I will leave the information down below. Definitely for the men, the men in your life, uh, masculine leaning fragrances, maybe for Father's Day. Um, you can probably get them that and surprise them with this, you guys. Anyway, it's absolutely amazing, you guys. Get your nose on it. And this is Chango. It's, it's spelled Chango, but it's pronounced Chango. All right, so let's get into some femininity, y'all, okay? So um, the next one we're gonna talk about is Limitless Shopping. Uh, True Sardi, my baby, okay? You guys know that I love my True Sardis. This is, I wore this fragrance um, this week, you guys. The honey in here, the apple in here, the vanilla in here, um, the bergamot, the honey and the honeycomb. It smells like a juicy green apple, almost smells like a sour apple candy, like a sour hard apple candy with some honey and some honeycomb. Um, it's very fresh, a little woody in the dry down, super feminine, okay? Um, it's fluffy, it's airy. Um, there's also heliotrope in here. That's probably what makes it fluffy and airy. Tonka bean and musk. This fragrance, Limitless Shopping, is an absolute love for me. Um, yeah, if I ran out of this, I would definitely buy it again. But I love the House of Chusardi. And Limitless Shopping is one of my top green apple fragrances, top green apple honey fragrances. It's a non animalic honey in my collection, and I'm a loving this stuff. Get your nose on this, okay? I think Veronica said, oops, sorry, y'all. I think Veronica, I've had mine for a couple of years, but I think Veronica says she found one on Joma Shop. Also put your name down on Fragrance Buy um, uh, and they can email you when they do have the fragrance. All right, so the next one we're gonna talk about is Argos. This is Triumph of Bacchus. Love the apple peach woodiness and tobacco in this fragrance. It's stunning. My juice has gotten a little dark, even though I keep them in a dark place. Maybe because of the vanilla inside, you guys. But this is gorgeous. I absolutely love this fragrance. It's totally unisex, amazing performance. But you get that peach, you get the apple, you get like a fuzzy peach, you get the juicy apple, you get the tobacco in here, the vanilla, the woodiness, all of that. Get your nose on Triumph of Bacchus. This is not a safe blind buy. Definitely sample it first. But I absolutely love it and it's amazing for the summer. All right, the next one we have, um, I just put this in on a haul. Um, and this is Ouverture. Oh, there's Saffron and Two Triumph of Bacchus. Um, there's a Saffron in here as well, y'all. This is gorgeous. This is not a safe blind buy, you all. Awaj Ouverture Woman. O Overture. Ouverture is Zerjop. Overture. <laughs> Overture, Overture, I get them confused. Tomatoes, tomatoes, okay? Um, so this is Amouage Overture Woman. The bottle is stunning as well. So in here, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, you have your apple, you have your Calvados, you guys, which is a boozy rum, uh, but it listed Calvados. Um, you have your saffron, bergamot, benzoin, myrrh, leather, rose, and cinnamon. So you do get a light inside of a purse type leather or suede in this fragrance. I absolutely love it. Amazing for the summer. The longevity is great, but initially upon the first blast, you get that juicy apple, the myrrh, the saffron, the warm spiciness, a little bit of leather, and I absolutely love it. I am not a leather fan, like a huge leather fan, you guys. So if I love something, you know it must come in small doses. Um, definitely wear this. Do not just sample it. Wear it full body, um, and you can just get wafts of your sillage as you go throughout the day, you guys. Get your nose on this. This is Uberture Woman by the house of Amouage. All right, so the next one um, needs no introduction, the next two, okay? Um, and this is Kayali's Eden Juicy Apple 01. I just spoke of this in a review. Oh, this is so good. This is Juicy Red Apple. This is bergamot. This is blackcurrant, raspberry, musk, vanilla. You get all of that in this fragrance. I absolutely love this fragrance, y'all. It's back a bottle worthy. No, it does not smell like a body spray. I don't know who told you guys that, but you guys need to spend time with your fragrances. Love on your fragrances, you know, um, and then you will realize that, you know, they have amazing performance, you guys. Sometimes you gotta overspray a little bit, but for the most part, this gives me about six hours on my clothes, maybe eight hours on my clothes. I sprayed about maybe 15 times and about four hours hours on my skin but I love Eden Juicy Apple 01 this is gorgeous juicy amazing for the summer now we got her sexy sister uh, which was my very first Kayali and I love it I love it I love it um, and this is Elixir 11 Elixir 11 
It's probably the most beast mode apple I have in this entire fragrance video. The apple in here is juicy and projecting and loud. Oh, it smells like a mixture of green and tart red apples. That patchouli gives a little bit of earthiness. You have a really bright dewy red rose in here, y'all. Some musk. It's woody. This is absolutely amazing, but you gotta love patchouli, y'all. So this is um a really earthy, woody, slightly sweetened patchouli. It's not a um, gourmand chocolate cakey patchouli though. Uh, but that patchouli gives life to the rose and the apple, you guys. I feel like I'm going through an apple orchard um, like in the morning and it's dewy and moist outside picking fresh, you know, juicy green and red apples, but you can get the scent of the apple through the skin. It's projecting you all. I love this fragrance. This was my first Kayali. Um, there's a dent. I've had it for over maybe four years. I love it. Get your nose on this. Not a safe line buy. If you love patchouli, it might be a safe line buy, you guys. Get your nose on this. Elixir 11. Casablanca is super affordable. Um, Casablanca, you have your, it's like a caramel apple. Um, Casablanca. Some people say this leans a little masculine from the woody notes, and it actually does. After about a couple hours, it does get a little woody, leans a little masculine. Then you get that suede in here. There's some grapes in here as too. So you got a caramel apple and you got some purple grapes in here and some woodiness with some suede, with some smooth suede. Uh, this is good, you guys. And it's super affordable. Um, Casablanca by Swiss Arabian. Everybody should know about this fragrance at this point because um, it's all over the place, you guys. Then we have La Danza um, by Noble1942. Um, this is an absolutely decadent gourmand fragrance. Love it. You have your, it smells like a warm, vanillic, doughy apple pie, but just, I'm getting like vanilla and a little bit of coconut in there, you guys. Um, this is beautiful. So if you want to smell like a warm apple pie with some coconut, then with some coconut milk, you know, then you need to try La Danza 19, Noble 1942. Rose All Day. <laughs> this is a beast, okay? Uh, Rose All Day. I hardly ever wear. And when I, it's gorgeous. It smells like warm spice. It smells like warm, spicy apple crisp. Um, like cinnamon, uh, almost like cinnamon toast crunch with some apples inside, you guys. But yeah, you get that rose in here. It's gorgeous. It's a gorgeous fragrance. And I mentioned that I was going to declutter it, but I'm not because it smells absolutely amazing. You can wear this for the summer in small doses. Um, and you can wear it for the winter in moderation. You guys do not ever spray this heavy, uh, because it will be, you will embarrass yourself. Okay. Anyway, road day all day. Actually, the notes are on here. Um, there's apple crisp, there's a really rich plum, uh, there's dark rose, brown sugar, tonka, and you get you do get a little bit of that, because I don't like gunmetal notes or stainless steel notes, but you do get a slight hint of that stainless steel in here, almost like you're eating a warm apple pie and your mouth touches your lips or your teeth, they touch the fork or something, similar to that, you guys, if you know what I mean. You know how you like kind of drag it off a little bit, almost like that, but it's amazing. Um, love it, Rosé All Day by the House of Gallagher. This is a beast mode fragrance. Then you have um, this one by the House of Casamat, I think it is, and this is Ebhar. This is literally La Danza, um, but one smells like, La Danza to me smells like a red apple pie uh, with some coconut. This smells like a juicy green apple pie with some vanilla. It's absolutely amazing. They're almost, they're literally almost dupes, like 75% alike. So um, if you don't want to spend the coins on this, which is which this is on Fragrance Buy sometimes, then you might want to try um, Ebhar uh, by Kazamat, I think it is, by Rasasi, you guys, Rasasi, okay? Um, anyway, they're both lovely, a little bit of a gin in there because I did wear them both um, last summer and um, I think I was babysitting this one because I didn't want the juice to, but I'm gonna wear them both this summer, you guys. I love them both. You get your nose on them. Um, so we have Versace Dylan Blue Pour Femme. This one actually is very screeching and very loud and it's a beast, y'all. almost wore this and it made me nauseous. This literally smells like apple herbal essence shampoo. Um, it's very clean. It's very projecting. It's super loud. But if you like more of a clean fragrance with a little bit of apple in it, then you might want to try like I still smell it now. 
you know, um, then you might want to try Versace Dylan Blue Pour Femme. My coworkers love this stuff. So this is for the people that want a little bit of fruitiness, a little bit, a little bit of apple, but you still want to smell soapy and clean, you guys. Um, it's nice, but I swear two pumps or two sprays of this and be done. Okay. It'll last you all day long. All right, the next one is Creed Events is for her. You have your beautiful black apple, I mean black apple. You have your beautiful black currant. You have some juicy apple in here. I, oh, it's so good. I think there's some peach in here as well. But yeah, I got this fragrance and I also got the dupe La Venture, okay? So yeah, this is super expensive. Both are amazing, juicy, woody apple fragrances with a little patchouli inside. But this one um, is a little woodier to me. It's not as fresh as the original, but literally probably 90% the same, you guys. Um, so get your nose on La Venture for her. And then maybe you want to get a sample of Creed Aventus for her to compare them, you guys. But yeah, I mean, a win is a win, okay? <laughs> this is some good stuff. And this is by Al Harmain, I think it is. Yeah, by Al Harmain, and of course, y'all know this is by Creed, Aventus for her, but literally the same fragrances. All right, then we have one that you may want to wear on summer nights, and this is Caltat Night. Um, this is when you wanna when you wanna have like a um a sexy date night. You know, you want to throw some little bit of cherries in there with your apples, some spiciness, some woodiness, you guys. This is good. It's good. It doesn't smell like Christmas, but it's a little warm, spicy with some cherries and some apples. Almost gives you the vibes of Ojan. This is very similar to Ojan, but this has apple inside. Apples and cherries inside, you guys. Love this. Obsessed with it. Get your nose on it. Affordable. Good stuff, you guys. And you can, like I said, you can wear it for the summer as well. The next one is one that I absolutely love. It's by the House of Siage. Mm, this is intoxicating. Uh, this is Whispers of Seduction, okay? Uh, this is one of my favorite cupcakes. I think I said it, this is in my top three. So this is marshmallow. This is candy apple. This is like that red, crunchy, candy, candy apple, not the one with the caramel, with the hard crunchiness on the outside and green and tart and, tart and sour in the inside with a little bit of marshmallow, not marshmallow. There's some oud, there's some rose in here, you guys. This is an absolute love. Get your nose on this. When this goes on sale, you guys, Whispers of Seduction, I love it. Amazing for the summer. It is a non-offensive oud in here. So do not be afraid. You can hardly even smell it. Um, it's like a baby oud, you know, as I would always call it. But I love it. The bottle is gorgeous as well. Whispers of seduction. Get your nose on it. Then you have, um, I think I did all of those. Then you have, I want to make sure I got everything, you guys. Um, then you have Bite Me by Confessions of a Rebel. And I still have to do a review because I have about eight samples or 10 samples and two full bottles from this fragrance house. Um, so in Bite Me, it's good. It's like a powdery strawberry, um, vanilla orchid, red apple, rum, and jasmine. I'm going to go ahead and spray this on my hand. But y'all, this is good. This is a, like I said, Yes, this is really good. A juicy, it almost smells like a candied apple, a boozy candied apple with some strawberries. It's gore, oh, I love it. It's not gorgeous, it's fun. It's flirty, it's playful, it's juicy, it's a little powdery. Girl, not girl, I mean, I love this stuff. <laughs> I'm talking to myself. Um, yeah, Bite Me is good. Um, this is good for the summer. This is not a sophisticated fragrance. Um, this is, like I said, a fun fragrance if you want to run errands, um, hanging out at the pool, like a pool day, something like that. But Bite Me is really good. And the performance on this is moderate. It's about maybe four to six hours, depending on how you spray, you know. But you do get that subtle, and now it's a little more subtle. You do get that juicy apple, juicy subtle apple, and the strawberry and the booziness from the rum. Um, super cute fragrance, very fun, you guys. Um, that is it, I think. Um, we went through multiple fragrances. Get your nose on these apple fragrances, y'all. Go out to the world, spread amazing sillage, do good, be good. And let me know, like I said, what's your favorite apple and what's your favorite apple fragrance down in the comments, you guys. All right, bye-bye.